Hello YouTubers, this is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another 2015 detailed casting review. Hot Wheels, mainline. Um, so, we got number 180, the Speed Slayer. And there it is. Pretty cool. It is in the Hot Wheels race, track aces. It's Land Speed Champ with two extra large jet engines and massive air intakes to feed the beast. It's a flat out leader, ready, willing, and able to destroy the competition. So, this is a new model for 2015 uh, Speed Slayer. Let's take it out. It is in the first seen in E cases. Um, it's pretty neat, except for we got plastic body. This is all plastic on top. The base is metal. You got a metal gold flake base. You got these little skinny tires. Um, so it's probably fast downhill. But, and some side and top tamples. So pretty cool. Give you a good look at it here. G46 on the base. This is the rear and the front of the vehicle. So of course it's based on jet cars that attempt land speed records. So here's one example of one. I know it doesn't look anything like this vehicle, but anyway, this is a jet car. And then I've got another example here of one. And then I got another example here of one. Now this one's pretty significant. Uh, this one actually holds the current land speed record, which is 763 miles an hour. Um, the guy's name was Andy Green. He set this record in 1997. This car was called the Thrust SSC. Uh, this vehicle right here was actually the first car to break the sound barrier. So that's pretty neat. Um, and it's also kind of neat that it's, it's been since 1997 that anyone has attempted to go faster. Um, I think we're kind of reaching the limit on how fast we can go on land, but who knows. Um, anyway, casting history-wise, this is going to be kind of a short video. I mean, obviously, there's no casting history on this because it is a new model for 2015. And I got to say, I was pretty excited when I saw this one that it was going to come out. Um, and, of course, we're going to rate it on a scale of one to three stars, one being I don't like it, two being, of course, it's okay, three being I really like it. This one gets two stars for me. You know, I would have liked it a whole lot better if they just would have flip-flopped. I know that's not necessarily the best for downhill racing or, or track time or anything like that, but if they would have flip-flopped and had a metal body and a plastic base, I don't know, I just think it would have looked cool. Something about the red plastic, um, the red plastic color just looks kind of cheesy to me. I don't know. But anyway, it's still pretty cool. Um, anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great day.